Hello and welcome to Physics Minutes. I'm your host, Pauline, and today we're going to be talking about fluid, lift, and the Bernoulli effect. Bernoulli was a mathematician from the 1700s who is most well known for his work in fluid mechanics. His famous equation, the aptly named Bernoulli equation, follows the conservation of energy law and shows how pressure in a fluid relates to energy. In order to explain the Bernoulli effect, let's take a look at the wing of an airplane. As the wing cuts through the air, the air has to flow over and under the wing. Because of the curve of the top part of the wing, the air must travel a longer distance in the same amount of time as the air under the wing, it therefore has a higher velocity. According to Bernoulli, the faster moving fluid will have a lower pressure than the slow moving fluid. This means that there will be a net upwards force on the wing, because there are more collisions occurring on the bottom of the wing, resulting in lift. We can see this here. As the fan blows the air across the airfoil, it starts to create a region of low pressure above the wing. This airfoil is a complex engineered shape meant specifically for lift, but we can also see the Bernoulli effect on other simpler shapes, like a sphere. What we have here is a light styrofoam ball in an airstream, and if we were to angle that airstream, we see that the ball stays up. That's because the, the air flowing over top of the ball is actually going at a faster velocity than the air going under the ball, and according to Bernoulli, that means that there's a region of low pressure on top, and that region of low pressure is actually what's opposing the force of gravity right now. Uh, in our next clip, we're actually going to show you the air flowing over top of the ball. <laughs> 